Hey folks, this is Shane. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. About a month or so ago, I picked up this guy right here, the Yesu Atos antenna. Let's talk about it a little bit, shall we? So, I'm not gonna do a deep dive review of this thing. Uh, that's not my style or ability. But recently, Mike K8MRD did a great video. I'll put a link to that at the end. Check that out for all the specifics. But the lowdown is the ATOS is a screwdriver style loaded antenna. And the cool thing is it's paired to work with some specific radios from, you guessed it, Yesu. In my case, the 891. The 891 will actually control this mechanism right in here that will adjust the length of the antenna to get it resonant on the frequencies that you want. Uh, this particular model of antenna can work with two meters, 70 SEMs, and HF. Me having the 891, I'm just using it for HF. For mounting the antenna, I'm using this lip mount on the hood of my truck, and I have an adapter to get the uh, antenna to work with that mount specifically. And then I just plug the 891 onto the coax inside the truck. You don't need another controller of any type or a tuner. The 891, which doesn't have an internal tuner, will control this antenna to get to adjust to the frequency you want, which is a pretty slick option for me. I'm really liking this antenna for uh, quick activations in the parks. Uh, I'm able to literally just drive in, turn on the radio, and I'm going. And the, the key advantage besides the, the quickness is the footprint. My whole operating station is within the footprint of my vehicle, meaning like this time of the year in Wisconsin when parking lots get a little crowded with snow and access to places I like to hike in is not that great. I can just pull into a parking lot, not take up any additional room, don't have a, a masked up with coax all over the place for other people to trip over. Everything's within the parking spot. Nothing in anybody else's way, nothing for me to look out for. It's just very simple, very fast. While this antenna is not as efficient as a resident infid half wave or dipole, it does get out and it does work. Um, I've been able to get some DX on some park on the air activations and overall the signal reports are pretty good. Now besides parks on the air, I can see this very useful for some other things. Uh, if you're a CUSO party guy and you wanna get multiple counties in your state, this would be a very fast way to do it. Uh, obviously roving for parks on the air, this will be a great option. Another thing to consider is this thing might be pretty good for Aries Races type events whether you're working a uh, race or in a disaster relief type situation. All the advantages for parks on the air apply to this as well. Ease of use, quick setup, small footprint. So am I going to be using this for all my parks on the air activations at this point forward? No, uh, I'm still going to get out and I love my infant half waves. But for a quick activation, a rove, or when the weather is trying to kill me, this is gonna be a nice option to have. Just a quick overview. I so far like this thing a lot. And if you have a ASU 891 to do parks on the air, you may wanna consider getting one of these if you don't have one already. All right, folks, I rambled on enough. Have a good one, 73. While a compromise antenna, it does get out and it works good enough for all those cases. Oh, that sounded lame too. Oh. Hoo hoo hoo.